What is up, guys? Here we are today with Nohav MG. So we're on Battlefield. This is a pretty reasonable map for Nohav MG. Unfortunately, one of the big weaknesses of Nohav MG is tech units. Uh, Nohav MG tends to not put much pressure on people's tech. Uh, sorry, on people's economy. Um, and then tech will come out at like some some way through the second missile. And if it's the right tech unit, you're going to really struggle against it. Like a flame tank is going to annihilate you. Um, you do you do start charging this off very early though, so you can win games. If people don't blind double harvester, often their tech unit can be too late. But blind double harvester can potentially potentially get uh, potentially get those uh, it's out in time. So we're going to be going like rifles first. We're going to try and set up an MG as, as soon as possible. Obviously, I am playing Liang MG, which I do believe is bugged. The rate at which MGs heal with Liang is insane. Like it does seem like it. it it does kind of seem like it's just bugged, um, but what are you going to do? This is this is what this is what this is, this is what the people have called for. This is what we're doing. We have seven MG in the middle. I'm going to see what he's up. There's one harvester in a war factory. So I'm going to get some missiles. Once I get missiles on the pad, I need to move my MG. <laughs> also, professional MG player. Once the missiles on the pad, I'm going to go scout out what he's doing. All right, buggy. That's not a problem. We'll go for a pit bull here. And obviously the MG will just beat the bug anyway, so shouldn't be an issue. The main thing I need to be concerned about is Seth. A drill pod on the MG can take it out if I don't respond with a Liang quickly enough. That's what I need to be ready to do. I need to be ready to, to pop a Liang. So that's why you see me not making units here. I want to save up. I've got enough here with the MG and the Pitbull. This is enough to hold him off. So I need to make sure I have 50 Tiberium for if a drill pod comes down. Once I get to 70, then I'll make another unit. I'll get some more missiles. But yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be in a situation where I can't. I can't put a Liang down if I need to. Now we are going to end the game pretty quickly, obviously, because we're playing no half. So we're on the pads constantly. Um, the game should end, you know, almost ASAP, which is this is one of the one of the ways you can beat tech is just by ending the game very quickly. So we're not going to be just cold to tech, but tech is definitely going to be a tough matchup. I probably should have tried to set up a second MG here. The fact that he hasn't shown me any air units. But I want to be able to make a drill. I want to be able to make a Seth drone and a slingshot at a moment's notice. There's no reason to spend my money here. Looks like we win pretty comfortably. 150, 143 is about a little, little bit slower than the fastest possible, but not bad. Mission accomplished. All right, so the problem, the other problem with this is I open up rifles and then I go MG most games. That's my game plan. If my opponent opens Harvester into War Factory, like dogs or, or wheels. <laughs> Funny, it's an MG man. Uh, yeah, I was going to say if my opponent opens up War Factory, um, then my rifles won't be very good at deflecting for the MG. And I also, if they open Harvester first, I won't see their War Factory unit until it's late. All right, so we need to be aware of air. But well, people who put an MG next to their harvester are almost certainly going to go air. So I do need to be ready for that. Probably going to pop out a pit bull here. If I have something. Obviously, if he does go air, I'd rather have a sling. But since we don't know exactly what it is he's going to do yet, it makes sense, I think, to um, have the have the pit bull because it's more versatile. Again, I should probably be looking to set up a second MG, but I don't know exactly what's in the deck yet. He might just suddenly pop out drone swarms, and I don't want to be sitting on two MGs. Or a Razorback, even that'd be a nightmare. Like, a Razorback just pops out. I don't want to be sitting on two MGs when a Razorback comes along. So this guy went MG early, so his uh, his double harvester was very delayed. So I don't think he's going to be able to get tech in a reasonable time frame. Oh, there's a Wolverine. Probably going to be too late. You can see how, if he'd gone double harvester blind, this Wolverine would have been out. Quick enough to contest. I mean, not the Wolverine, something I'm particularly scared of, but it would have been out early enough to contest the missile. Okay, pretty easy win. 136. That's pretty much the fastest you've been on Battlefield, I think. You are victorious. We could possibly open dogs if we're gonna go no half every time. 
Oh yeah, there's the wheels. This is what I'm scared of, basically. And now I need to block until the MG gets set up. Which is, you know, not too bad, but... Definitely not what I want to see. Alright. Obviously the wheels have free vision as well, so he can... My MG. Oh. The MG's also not in the right position, because I had to set it up ASAP. There's a Chuggy. Chuggy is kind of scary. We should be okay. If we Liang drone, we should be fine against the Chuggy. I actually Liang drone way too soon here, as you can see. Takes out the missiles first. I think that might be an error on his part, because now there's no way he can take down the MG, focusing the missiles instead. I do need to block for the MG if I want it to, uh, if I want it to survive. Alright, so the fact he sent in another Chuggy is actually pretty funny, because it means, it means he spent a lot of money. We're going to take this missile pretty easily. I really want to get Pitbulls out, but I have no money, as you can see. Oh, half. Broke. It's going to be 80 for, the, for a first Pitbull. I probably need to spend all my money on the Angron again, because he's going to try and kill my MG. If the MG goes down, we're in trouble. Just about lose. He made a huge mistake by retreating there. He actually would have finished it off if he hadn't retreated. Giga Cannon as well, oh my god. <laughs> I actually do think MGs beat Giga Cannons if they, if they push in. Focus this Giga, get the missiles involved as well. Yeah, you can see MG Liang beats the Giga pretty easily. Giga infantry damage isn't that good until it ramps up to full. Have a Chuggy again. Problem is that my MG's in the wrong place. I'm just going to have to spam missiles now. I need to save up for Liang Drone again as well. Yeah, this is not good. I really need a I really need a pit bull. I really need a pit bull. I just can't afford one. I could probably Liang steal the other pad actually. That's that might be the best thing. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Liang steal and then block with uh, missiles and I should win. But you can see how he broke my MG. This game went on any longer. Any longer and I'm dead. Like literally half a second longer I lose that game. Yeah, there's the wheels again. MG set up. Oh no, this is pretty bad. Now my MG's gonna take a ton of damage. I might just be dead here, honestly. I think that might be game over. Yeah, that's that might just be game over, to be honest. Losing that first MG is, is not a thing you can afford. Alright, well, let's give it a go. The fact he went Fanatics is actually pretty good for me. Fanatics are pretty pretty bad versus MG. Gives me some leeway. Also, if he has Fanatics, there's a chance he doesn't have good air. A lot of Fanatic decks are very War Factory based. I'm just going to go for a second MG because if he has something that punishes MG, I think I'm just... Oh, I need to just hope he can't beat MG, basically. I just need to just keep making MGs and hope he can't deal with them. If he has, like, Inferno or something, I'm just, I'm just dead. There's no way I can afford to counter it at the moment. I'll have a look at his face. Oh no! <laughs> Inferno just like hard counters MGs. It's absolutely brutal. I've got to take this Inferno out before it kills my next MG. Okay, thank God. We might not be completely dead, but I don't. I don't see how I beat more Infernos. You know, like I can beat one. The next one, I'm I'm in a lot of trouble against. Like a lot. Maybe I just need to make more Pitbull. That's tough though. It's really tough. I mean, like, you can see how difficult it is. No half MG is, is always very bad versus Inferno. That's just a fact. It always has been. <laughs> He's actually, like, playing these Infernos quite poorly to give me outs here. Like, look at this. Why is he suiciding his Inferno? I think it's worth so much money if he keeps it alive. He can kill everything I have by just keeping that Inferno alive. But by losing it there, it's just such a big cost. I actually think I'm going to win now, but only because he was he didn't play his Infernos right. Yep. Each, each, each time the Inferno shoots, he should just retreat it. Because there's no way I can beat two Infernos coming in at the same time. That's completely impossible. It's the fact that he only made one Inferno at a time that gives me out. All right, let's try not to have that happen again because that was pretty bad. 
Time he's opening missiles, that's really good for us. A lot of time to set up our MG. So we aren't charging, which is a misplay. I just realized I haven't been charging for like 20 seconds. Oh no, snipers! <laughs> snipers are very good versus MG as well. Once again, you can beat snipers if they walk into an MG, but he can just sit back and shoot my supporting units over and over. That's the problem here. He just sits back and, like, I can't block effectively my MG because snipers. Alright, so we definitely need Pitbull now. That's why I've transitioned into dogs instead of rifles as my blocking unit. Because I need something that doesn't die to snipers. Alright, so first missile should be ours pretty easily. We lay anger on our MG because we're being shot by snipers. I want to get, I want to, I want to use the pit bull to trade shots because I have a Liang grown up, so I want to get value out of it. But he's, he's running away because he's. Uh. All right, I'm gonna save now. One missile trooper. That's pretty close to firing. He's gonna have to do something. Walker, that's not gonna cut it. He needs to have Borker, I think. If he had Borker, I'd probably lose, but Walker's not gonna be enough. Yep. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two. Okay, now we're up against Solomon. Uh, I think this is actually an unwinnable matchup. Because our whole deck is built around the idea that we make one MG and preserve it the entire game. All he has to do is Iron Cannon that one MG and there's really, like, he can afford to trade 130 for 30. But that's a that's a trade he can make. Uh, because he's going to have Harvesters. Probably double Harvester it looks like. Oh, he opened Drone Swarm as well. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Actually a nightmare. I think, I think we might be done, guys. <laughs> Solomon and opens Drone Swarm. I don't know if that's something we can beat. Yeah, this is this is unwinnable. I think I have to go Harvester if I if I want to have a chance here. There's no way no Harv MG can ever beat this. Gets as well. Oh my god. Yeah, this one's over. Drone Storm opening was super brutal as well. Now he's going after my harvester. No. <laughs> This, yeah, this one. This isn't fully unwinnable. Like this is this is not a matchup this deck can possibly win. Maybe maybe if I opened missiles or dogs and then had gone MG into slingshot. But even then, even if I win one missile, it just doesn't matter because he's gonna iron cannon my setup at some point. That's impossible for me. To <laughs> this is what I would describe as a hard counter to my deck. I don't really have a game plan for these titans, if I'm honest with you. Looks like he's just gonna go off on my base with them. Yeah, my, my deck has no outs to titan. Well, 
Titan base damage is just silly. Like the fact he can kill my base faster than two missile squads can take down his Titan. Yeah, not a winnable matchup. Not a winnable matchup at all. Mission failed. Three, two. Alright, we've got another Solomon, so again, can't win. Um we'll go dogs first, I guess. Try and save up for a slingshot. Because I know he's gonna play air as well. He always plays he always plays Solomon and he always plays air. Um, but yeah, this is again not a winnable matchup. This is one of the reasons you don't see no half MG on ladder very often because there's a bunch of things that just auto beat it. Like it is not, it's not a good deck. It, it has a lot of bad matchups. But you just cannot win the game. This is one of them. Guess I'll save for sling. Although I'm tempted to make pitbull instead. I'm gonna make pitbull. But yeah, at some point he's gonna iron cannon my MG and then we're dead. That's that's all there. That's all there is to it. There's no there's no special tactics to beat an iron cannon. Like you can you just can't. At some point he will iron cannon and I will lose. I can tr maybe try and spread out the MGs. That's that's probably the best thing I can do. Use Orca to attack my MG. So if I move the MGs in a manner so that he can't iron cannon them both at once, that's my best chance. But even then, my odds of winning are close. Yep, this one's over. Losing that pitbull kills me. Pretty sure he has Titan in his deck as well. At least he, he did previously. So. Basically the same matchup as last time, just completely unwinnable. Yep, there's the Titan. I have no answer to the Titan in my deck, so the game is over. Can't be done. This, this is not a winnable matchup at all. Our base has been destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective available. Building online. Unit ready. Gun squad ready to shut up. Gross. Right. I haven't made anything yet. Buggy. Okay, so we just need to block the buggy. Unit ready. Our dogs. Bring in the missile support. We want to keep charging the missile as well. Because we're no halves. We want the game to end as quickly as possible. Go and scout his base. See what he thinks. He might go air now. Yep, there's air. Depends what it is. Makes another buggy. I think I'm just going to make Slingshot this time. The amount of time it's taking him to make the air unit makes me think it might be uh, Inferno, which would be pretty bad. Missile launched. 
Okay. Yep, it's Inferno. That's the worst case scenario. Wow, he didn't even get a shot off. <laughs> Not the best Inferno play I've ever seen. And there's second half. Okay, well, this is a bit late for second half, man. I'm not sure that's a great play. Clearly gonna spam Infernos at me now. I'm gonna make a second slingshot. Fuck it over here. And the dog to try and distract anything that comes in. Alright, here comes the Inferno. Move the missile so he can't get the one. And still doesn't get a shot off. Wow, okay. I mean, I guess you can beat Infernos if they play them like that. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective received. Okay, up against Seth again. Seth is pretty bad. Uh, no half MG. You don't want to see Seth when you're playing no half MG. Uh, so we're going to go double dog because his rifles are out early. And then we're going to make the MG. It's set up with the two dogs to protect it. Looks like he's transitioning into War Factory right away. He isn't making a second unit. I think that's generally a misplay. I think you should almost always make a second unit from your first building. Transition. He might also, yeah, he's got more factory. That's good. That's... If he's got air tower. It would have been a little bit harder to beat. Factory is very easy. We just stay away from the bikes and let the MG do val do work on them because the MG ha will provide good value in this matchup. And then we'll just make another MG. Uh, he hasn't shown us a good way to fight MGs, so I'm happy to just stack up MGs. Laser drones. Don't care about those. Gonna have to make a slingshot, obviously. Yeah, also make missiles, but I'm gonna save for the slingshot here. I mean, he, he clearly is gonna just make a million laser drugs, so... I think getting the slingshot makes sense. I wanna keep this people alive. Ah, rip. <laughs> That's super annoying. I really want to keep that alive, because uh, we have Liang, so at some point I can heal it back up to full. I missed... I messed up. Oh, you don't care about that. That's the double M. There's the drill pod. Now is, would be a great time to have... Um, Liang drone. I think my MGs are gonna live. Yeah, my MGs live because we've been used to it. You are victorious. Three, two, All right. Eve, this is our last game. We lost the, uh, we lost the two matchups to Solomon, which makes sense. Solomon is essentially unbeatable. Could have maybe done a little bit better against the first Solomon guy. Um, he opened, who opened Drone Swarm. Yeah, oh my god, this guy opens Venom. <laughs> what an absolute nightmare. Alright, well we need to keep this MG alive. If that dies, we... Oh wow, he's not killing the missiles. That's a big misplay by our opponent. Big misplay to not just shoot the missiles there. And he's going for my Harvester. Outstanding play. Big fan, big fan. The fact that I have dogs, MG, and missile on the field did not did not register with him. So I, but maybe I don't also have a harvester. I've got like four units on the field from two buildings, but he's like, I'm gonna go get this guy's harvester. This is probably one of those guys who goes on the Play Store and gives it a zero star rating, being like, my opponent could build so many more units than me. What a cheat. Doesn't understand that not having a harvester lets you build. I'm sorry, Peros. If you watch this, I apologize. I don't mean me to PM. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to make some form of tech unit. Uh, depending on what it is, it will decide whether or not we win this game. If his tech unit is like Widowmaker, then we win. If it's Flame Tank, which it is, we're, we're dead. <laughs> we're like almost certainly screwed. Beating a Flame Tank with this deck is, is basically impossible. Yeah, I mean, look at that. <laughs> flame Tank just annihilates this deck, like, insanely hard. All right, well, we're going to stack pit bulls. We're going to stack pit bulls and we're going to hope that does the job. Nope, there's a third flame tank. That's not looking great. Maybe? Maybe? Ah, yes. See you later, Peros. See you later, mate. Ah, silly. Silly game. Mission accomplished. All right, guys. 8-2, eight, eight I believe, with that one. Um... The, the deck is pretty bad, uh, like, 
it's hard to make an argument for the deck. It, it has it has a lot of matchups that it also loses. Both the Inferno guys should have been able to beat me as well. Like, the second guy played really badly, the first guy played kind of badly. To... Yeah, I, sh I should really lose to Infernos. Borker's also, you can never beat Borker. Like, Borker is an auto loss for that deck. And Solomon is obviously an auto loss for that deck. Even Kane is pretty tough, because at some point they just Kane and kill your, uh... They just Kane and kill your MG. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend the deck, but if you are but looking for something... Oh, thank you, Ragnar. If you, the thing is, the thing is that deck is actually extremely good versus Fnatic decks. Fnatic decks that don't have much air, or their only air is uh, Shade. That deck is actually very good versus those decks. So there is a place for this deck, and this deck does have some some reason to play it. But you can't play it on things like ladder and events because there's too many things that hard counter it. However, in a tournament, if your opponent is definitely going to be playing Fnatic deck, then you can bring this, and it's really good. Because it does, it does do very well against Fnatics, but you can't bring it if you don't know what your opponent's bringing. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll uh, see you next time.